In this video, let's see how can we create a daily schedule template in Excel with many different features that can help us on a daily basis to, let's say, automate tasks and also to properly organize our schedule, our time, and to save time. Here we have the to-do items, our tasks, the start date, the priority, and also the deadline, and also the status. And uh, here we have the today's date that always going to retrieve your current date. Doesn't matter if you open this spreadsheet tomorrow or next week, next month, next year. This template right here is always going to be updated for you automatically. Okay. And uh, we also have here the filters that we can use that can help us a lot. So let's say I have here many different tasks and with many different status, priorities and so forth. So let's say I go to the status, I click in the filter and I only want to see the console or I want to see in progress and to do and then OK. Now the table is going to automatically filter only the tasks that match with the status that I chose it before. And uh, plus, I also want to couple with this filter right here, the priority. And I want to see priority equal to high and then OK. Now I know that those tasks right here, those four different tasks are the ones that I need to do first. And moreover, I can also couple another column, let's say the deadline. That way I can see the tasks that I need to do first and so forth. So it's a very simple daily schedule in Excel, but very powerful too. So let's take a look step by step from scratch. How can we do it? Let's go. To get started with our daily schedule in Excel, let's go first with the headers or with the informations that we think are important. So let me go here to the, to the fourth row in the second column, and then I can start with to do items or to do tasks. And maybe the first task that I have, of course, is just a sample, is the task A. And I also have the task B. And another information that is very important is the start date, because the way I can filter and know all the tasks that I have and the start date, the start point. So let's say both of those tasks, let me use a random date right here. It starts on, on July 2nd of 2024. Now this third information that is very important might be the priority of this task. And we can have high, medium or low. However, I don't want to manually input those status within this cell or this column. I want to maybe automate this task. So what we can do to save time is we can create a drop down list right here with those three options that I have high, medium and low. So let me select both of those cells and then I can go to data here to the right. I can go to data validation and instead of using allow any value, I can choose allow list. And as the list I can have high trauma the second option can be medium trauma and the, the last one can be low let me click ok and i done so this is our list high medium or low another thing that we can create here and use as a column as a header can be the deadline the, the deadline date for example the date where we need to get done with the, the task or with the item and so forth. So let's say this first task right here, I am currently at uh, July 2nd. So let's say July 4th of 2024. This is the deadline for both of those tasks. And knowing the start date and also the deadline, we can apply here some filters to sort or to organize or to filter and that way display only the tasks that are in a, a specific deadline. So it's very helpful to have both of those informations right here. And the last column that I can have maybe can be the status itself. And as the status, maybe we can have to do or done or in progress or consult. So let me select both of those cells. And again, I can use a data validation to help me with this data entry allow any value to allow list and as the source I can have to do comma done comma in progress comma and also maybe console okay let me hit enter and yeah that's it now it's much easier 
to input here nice status. Let me increase those columns just to make sure it properly can display all the informations that I have within the cells. Uh, I need to increase the, the width of those columns, okay? Another thing that I can do is select everything and then go to the Home tab, ally vertically and horizontally everything, select the to-do items and ally to the left, and also the status, select and ally to the left. Now, what we can do is, uh, okay, before we transform this data set as a table in Excel, because a table has many different benefits, such as whenever we input a new row or a new data, this new row, this new information is going to be automatically included in the data set. But before we do it, let's select here the status and create some conditional formatting just to help us with the highlight. Let's say the to-do status can be a red one and the in-progress can be a yellowish one. The done can be a green, whatever. So let's create this highlight to help us. So I can go here to conditional formatting and highlight sales rules. Every time that a cell is equal to done, for example, I want to highlight with a green color and then okay. Now let's check if it's working, done, yeah, it's working. Now let's select again the two cells that I have, conditional formatting, equal to, now let's go to in progress. I want to highlight with a yellowish color and now we have to do let's highlight the to do with a it can be a red color so let's input here the text to do and the last one that is being missing is console and the console one maybe we can use a custom format to highlight with a gray color so let's go to conditional formatting highlight cells rules equal to every time we have a cell that is a status that is equal to console I want to highlight with a custom format such as with a background like this gray right here and as the font maybe we can have a darker gray or a little bit darker like this okay and okay yeah that's it now all the status that we have are being automatically highlighted for us now we can select everything and then go to insert table make sure you mark this checkbox right here because yeah our table has headers and then okay that's it now whenever we input here a new data or a new uh, task such as task C and hit enter. All the new information is going to be included in the table. And we have here the drop down list. And we also have here the priority working perfectly. And basically that's it. This is how we can create a very, very simple but functional schedule in Excel. And maybe the last thing that you can do is, let's say, what is the today's date? Let's say I don't know. So you can use a formula in Excel to help you. You can type in here today and then colon, enter. And in this cell, in the next cell, you can use equal sign today function. Double click one, two to select and then hit enter. This function is always going to retrieve the today's date. Doesn't matter if you open this spreadsheet tomorrow or next week or next year, it's always going to retrieve your current today right your today's date let me select both of those cells ally in the middle and uh, vertically and horizontally change the font color to white the background to blue put everything in bold and yeah that's it now the last thing that i want to do here is add some new tasks because that way you can properly see how this schedule this daily schedule in excel is going to look like and i also want to show how to use the filters to both filter the data that we have and also to sort or organize the data set. So one second. Okay, so here we have my new data set with all the tasks that I need to do. And let's say now that I have a lot of things right here, we can know we can see how can we properly use the filters to filter or to sort the data set. So let's say let's start with the status. I want to know everything that is equal to consult. So I can go here to status, click in this little square right here and by the way if you do not have this option into your table you can click in the table within the table and go to table design and enable here the, fil the filter button okay now we can go back to the table itself and uh, in the header you can click on the filter let's say i only want to see the console items and then okay and that's it now the table is only going to show 
all the tasks that are equal to console. And if I go again here to the status, let's say now I want to know everything that is equal to in progress and to do. Okay, so I want to filter both of those informations. Okay, yeah, that's it. Now I can see all those tasks, the start date, the deadline, the priority, and so forth. So let's say I already have here a filter being used as the status, but I also want to couple to this filter another one within the priority. I want to know not all the items, but only the high priority. So I can filter here and then OK. Now I know that those tasks right here I need to do first because the status is equal to, let's say, to do and in progress and the priority is high. Or I can use different combination of filters, such as I can use the deadline. Let's say I click in the deadline and I want to see July of 2024. Uh, day 4th, 17th, and 31st, and then OK. Yeah, that's it. Now I can see all the items. And again, I can couple here with other columns to help me with more specific analysis and uh, so forth. So this is how we can create this schedule template in Excel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.